Okay, fourth question here. Now we're getting juicy. Fourth question's from James. He says, what are the odds at the Mariners landing Otani, Soto, or Snell? Again, obviously they're not getting all three, but the odds of each individual player being a Seattle Mariner. Am I doing percentages? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, Blake Snell, I'm going to say 50%. I actually believe he actually wants... I I believe he wants to come home, and I, I think Divish said that he heard that Blake Snell wants to come home. It would make sense. It would make sense. They, Mariners would pay a pitcher. I don't think they'd have a problem with that. They've done it twice already in the last two years, and I don't think they'd have a problem doing it again for another proven guy, especially with the strategy that I'm sure Jerry is very much aware of, and you supplement your you supplement your starting pitching and then you trade off of that supplement with younger, more controllable options. So Blake Snell, I'm going to put at 50%. Shohei Otani, I'm going to put at 10%. And Juan Soto, I'm going to put at 5%. I think Soto's the least likely. One year, you know he's hitting free agency. Who's his agent? Scott Boris. There's also now reports that Soto wants to go back to the East Coast once he hits free agency. You would have to give up a ton to get him. He feels like the least likely to me. So what would I put Juan Soto at? Yeah, 3 to 5%. Now, Blake Snell, before we get a, even get into the Otani stuff, because I'm sure that can be a whole discussion in itself, to double up on what you said, when we talked about Blake Snell a couple weeks ago, I was just starting to kind of kick the tires on the idea and think, yeah, could this make sense? Would the Mariners buy into this? I've done not just a full 180, but I've, I've had this epiphany in the sense of, I think the Mar- the Mariners absolutely have to sign Blake Snell. Here's why. How often do free agents say, oh, the Seattle Mariners, I want to play there. Never, ever, ever. In fact, most free agents say, I don't want to go within a thousand miles of that place. Now you've got a guy who's about to be a two-time Cy Young winner saying, not only would I be open to playing in Seattle, I want to play in Seattle. I will take a hometown discount to play in Seattle. He said that, despite being a Scott Boris guy. At least that's what's being reported by Divish. He thinks Snell would take a small hometown discount to go to the Mariners. So you better go get that guy, because you don't have people knocking on your door very often that are stars and saying, I want to play for you. So I have done a, I've had a full epiphany and said, the Mariners absolutely need to go sign Blake Snell. Go do it. What are the percent chances? I'll even go a little higher than you. I'll say 55 because if the Mariners fork up the money, it's 100%. At least that's what it sounds like. If they give him what he's asking for, it's 100%. If the Mariners don't fork up the money, yeah, it gets more complicated. So Then you and this, I are going to have a fucking problem. That's what we're going to have. Yes. So essentially, the 45% of hesitancy I'm putting out there is all in John Stanton's court. It's are you going to pay Blake Snell or not? If you don't, there's where the hesitancy is. If you say we'll give Blake Snell what he's looking for, this goes from 55% to just about 100%. Okay, now what's your show hate percentage? So we've talked about this a little bit before. I think it's higher than what most people think. Am I banking on it? No way. Am I putting it at the 50 to 55% chance we gave Blake Snell? Absolutely not. But like we've said, I think most fair, most Mariners fans sit there and say, there's no chance. He's going to the Dodgers. They're, they're not getting them. Don't waste your time. It's less than 5%. I don't think so. I really don't. I'm putting it somewhere between 25 and 30%, which is, again, it's not high odds, but it's higher than what most people think. I don't think the list of teams he's going to consider is that long. I think the Dodgers and the Mariners are very high up on that list. I think the Dodgers are probably one, and the Mariners honestly might be two. So that's why I'm saying 25 to 30%. I'm much more optimistic than most people are. I understand that. But I think Mariners fans like to be pessimistic a lot of the time. I just look across the league and say, what teams make sense for Shohei? Well, I guess all of them, because every team would benefit from having them. But what teams make sense for Shohei to go play for? Like, what does he want? I think there's a lot of boxes the Mariners check. I really do. So 10, 10% is on the pessimistic side. I, I, it's not letting yourself be disappointed which I think a lot of people are going to be even if even if Shohei has made up his mind that he's actually not coming to the Mariners and that he doesn't want to play in Seattle and he doesn't think think the organization is a good fit for him like we don't know that so people are going to be disappointed 
is the question is how you handle that disappointment. How does the Mariner, how do the Mariners handle that disappointment? Are they going to be able to pivot quickly? That's going to be the most important point of this offseason, and which leads to the percentage chance of our final person on this question. Which would be Blake Snell, which again, like I said, it's I'm putting it at 50 to 55 percent. I'll say 55, even a little bit higher than you. So sorry. No, I meant the 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 first one, actually, then a Juan Soto, I think. Oh, that's the I'll say that's the one you didn't didn't go into. Oh, no, I said Soto is like three to five percent. I was sorry. This this has been a long question because obviously it's packed with three very, very headline names. So, again, I just don't think the Soto thing's going to happen. It would cost a ton. He's not re-signing. It just, I, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. As good as he is, as, as incredible as he is, I should say, I don't think for Seattle it would make a lot of sense. So I think more so they'll be invested in both Shohei and, and Blake Snell. And I'll say this, let's just get it out there with the offseason now officially starting. I really hope Shohei signs early. One, because I cannot take him dragging this out till January. I'm going to be stressed and refreshing Twitter every five seconds every day for weeks if he takes a long time. And because I think he's going to hold up the market if he doesn't sign quickly, because I think a lot of teams are going to be trying to sign him. And I think that may hold up a lot of the rest of the free agent market. So I hope Shohei makes his decision relatively quickly. I actually think he may. And then that can just say that can let everybody be like, okay, let's move on. Let's pivot. What can we do next? Yeah, he can sign as early as next Tuesday. Yeah. That, that's yeah. as early as he can sign, and it could be within a couple of weeks. And I think you and I would, would really appreciate him signing within a couple of weeks so we have, we have enough time to get into everything else and we don't have to do all these what-if episodes throughout the, course of the, uh, uh, throughout the course of the holiday season. 